Russian General Surovikin knew about Prigozhin's rebellion plans. Russian General Sergei Surovikin, who was appointed in the Russian Federation as a mediator between the Ministry of Defense and Wagner, knew about the plans of mercenary leader Yevgeny Prigozhin to commit a mutiny in Russia. The New York Times reported it. U.S. officials who have reviewed U.S. intelligence reports say Surovikin knew in advance about Prigozhin's plan to rebel against the Russian military leadership. Officials said they are trying to find out whether General Surovikin helped plan Prigozhin's actions. U.S. officials also said there are signs that other Russian generals may also have supported Prigozhin's attempt to change the leadership of the defense ministry by force. Current and former U.S. officials said that Prigozhin would not have launched the uprising if he was not confident that other high-ranking officials would come to his aid. The newspaper believes that if Surovikin was involved in these events, it would be the latest sign of infighting within the Russian military leadership. Putin must decide whether he believes Surovikin helped Prigozhin and how he should respond, officials said. Some former officials say Putin could decide to keep General Surovikin if his conclusion is that Surovikin knew something about Prigozhin's plans but did not help him. Analysts have said that for now, Putin seems intent on holding Prigozhin solely responsible for the rebellion. Senior US officials have suggested that an alliance between General Surovikin and Prigozhin may explain Prigozhin's survival. The US officials said, on condition of anonymity, that removing Surovikin would be of benefit to Ukraine. They also suggested that there was collusion between some military officials and Prigozhin because Prigozhin's mercenaries almost reached Moscow with virtually no resistance. Former US ambassador to Russia Michael McFall said, there were just too many weird things that happened that, in my mind, suggest there was collusion that we have not figured out yet. Think of how easy it was to take Rostov. There are armed guards everywhere in Russia and suddenly, there's no one around to do anything, he added. Independent experts, US and allied officials said that Prigozhin seemed to believe that large parts of Russia's army would rally to his side as his convoy moved on Moscow.